بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله Listen to this beautiful hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which shows us the wickedness of backbiting and slander and that these are punishable offenses in the hereafter and that these sins are so common amongst us and it's so easy for us to indulge in them and so difficult for us to refrain from them. So it's very important that we strive our best to avoid the wickedness of ridiculing and belittling others. And that is from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to avoid those evils. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, uh, this is the hadith of Anas, Anas radiallahu ta'ala, and he said, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said during the Mi'raj, I saw a group of people who were scratching their chests and faces with their copper with copper nails. I asked, Who are these people, O Jibreel? Jibreel replied, These are the people who ate flesh of others by backbiting and trampled people's honor. Ruahu Abu Dawood. This shows us a habit of Allah that backbiting and slander will be a person will be recompensed in the hereafter. That that is some of the punishment for those who will be punished in Jahannam, in the hellfire. And for what? For backbiting and slander, slandering and belittling people's honors. That's why it's imperative as a general rule to avoid it by any means. To avoid involving yourself in those affairs of speaking ill about the people, trampling the people's honor. That those issues of when it is permissible are the istithna. They're the exception. Meaning that there are times when you can speak about others. And of course, this was necessary to defend Islam and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and this is why it's a Qaida of Ahl Sunnah but this is reserved for the people of knowledge not to be excessive not to slander not to lie not to be unjust but rather to clarify the mistakes of people to point out the error so that people will not take those mistakes as a part of their faith. To refute the bid'ah, so people will not think that the bid'ah is in fact the sunnah, and that the sunnah in fact is bid'ah. So all of those are reasons why it's necessary to speak about someone, to refute ahl bid'ah, to refute kufr. But that is quite different than the one who just indulges and engages in speaking about people and belittling them, destroying their honor. And it shows us, as the Messenger وسلم, said, he saw people like this in Jahannam. And that they had copper nails and they were scratching their faces for eating the flesh of the brothers, of their brothers. And from belittling and destroying the honor of their brothers. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from those evil characteristics and traits. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala Muhammad.